Hello everyone, welcome to this video, and <clears throat> today is going to be part 4, aka the final part of my Arkham Origins No Damage run. And, you know, it starts off normal. Well, I mean, I say it starts off normal. It just starts off where we left off last time, where, you know, we grab the glue grenade and we head out to go... We head to the GCPD morgue. <clears throat> Master Bruce, stop! Master Bruce, Bruce, you... I will not, in good conscience, allow you to go. You're outmatched by these assassins. I'm... What? You're not some hardened vigilante. You're a young man with a trust fund and too much anger. You're in over your head, and I, I don't want this to be your end. Alfred, who do you see when you look at? The boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? The teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the may predator. be! No, not may be. I am. When the mugger or the thief stops to think twice, that is fear. That is what I am. That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred, I am not in over my head. Tonight will not be my end, but it will be theirs. Now after that absolutely amazing scene, now we can head to the GCPD. You know, well, GCPD morgue, because... You know, it's the morgue. We're not, we're not just going to the normal GCPD. We we don't we don't do that here. But I mean, it does take a little bit, so I can just skip to the next combat section that's right outside the GCPD morgue. So I'll head there. And after a little bit of skipping, we are right outside the GCPD morgue entrance, where we can get right into this combat encounter. With, you know, that awesome glide in or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But yeah, especially after the embarrassment that was last video. I got the um, multi-ground takedown as you just saw. So you know that this episode I'm not going to be messing around anymore, bro. I'm, I'm not going to have a combat section where I fail 500 times. So, yeah. And then I thought I took that dude down, which I clearly didn't, so I just went back and punched him. And then we just have to finish off these last few guys, and, you know, then we can get into the morgue, so. Yeah. you know, And, I mean, it's not that difficult, you know, considering we have multi-ground takedown and shot gloves and all that. We basically finish it with no problems. So, now we can get to the morgue, except... You know, nothing actually happens in the morgue that's important to this challenge. So I guess I can just skip a little ways. And way past the morgue, all the, heading all the way to Bane's hideout, we get this tiny little um, predator section with just two guys. So, you know, it's not going to be that hard. I mean, we take out this first guy while the second guy goes down the stairs. And then we can sneak up on said second guy and just, you know, take him out. I mean, he had no idea we were there, so... You know, it's pretty easy. But, um, right after that, we have, like, the... Not big, but more... It's, um, a, it's a bigger Predator section right outside Bane's hideout. Like, there's three snipers on the roof. Or four, sorry. Four snipers on the roof. And then there's the guys down at the entrance. So, you know, we have to take them out. But, I mean, considering that this isn't on New Game Plus or anything like that, since there's no jammer, it's not as difficult, just because, you know, we can use detective mode and actually see them. So, yeah, we, we take them out perfectly fine. You know, noth nothing even happens. And I actually hadn't remembered a fourth guy until I saw him while I was taking this um, second dude out, or technically third. And I couldn't corner cover, so I just figured I'd wait for him to get around the corner, and I would just throw batarangs at him to get a ground takedown. And then, after that, I get like, I get lost, like, because it turned around my camera, and I decided to get up on that little pipe right in front of me. 
so that way I can disrupt the um guys at the the guy at the entrance's gun. I can disrupt his gun and then I just you know glide kick the second dude just cause. And that starts up our next combat encounter, which also goes perfectly fine. Yes, I did mas miss that battering, but we don't talk about that. And then it showed as if I finished it, but apparently I didn't. And I thought I had to just disrupt that, but then I saw people coming at me, so I, you know, I had to take them out. But yeah, there wasn't like the recording finished, so I actually you didn't actually see me take the guys out. But you know what? It's fine. And now we head down into the Bane, into Bane's hideout, but I'm just going to skip to that, the next combat encounter. But if I'm being completely honest, when I dropped down here, I actually completely forgot about this combat encounter, so I wasn't, like, you know, ready, I guess. But I was, you know, I was still doing good. You know, I was getting ready to use a um, multi-ground takedown. But then I accidentally hit the guy with the shield, and then I couldn't punch anyone else, so... Yeah, I got hit and had to restart. But the second time, oh, I was ready. You know, at first, I glide kick this dude, and then I'm just trying to get my combo built up. So I can actually do a multi-ground takedown. And I decide that I need to take out the Venom user, so... I do a multi-ground takedown, and then I can... I, I thought that guy had a shield, so I or I thought he had picked it up, so I did the aerial attack, but he didn't, and then I'm able to take out the Venom user and multi-ground take down them both. But then there's this little raft section, so I'll just skip it. And normally here, I know there's guys behind it, and normally I would place explosive gel, but I don't have the upgrade that like detonates it automatically, so I just decided to just open it. I could have used a glue grenade mine, but I don't even know if I have that. I think I do, so I probably should have used that now, thinking about it. But I didn't, and it's fine. So I decided to take out the Venom users. And I don't know where that second Venom user went. Like, I thought he was going to charge at me, but he didn't. And actually, during this section, I was actually kind of terrified because there were some points where I really almost got hit. But luckily, I managed to get through it, and you know nothing. I mean, I ha it, the shock gloves kind of came in clutch, if I'm being honest. But you know what? I'll just say that it was all skill, and um, nothing else actually happens for a while. So I'll just skip to the next combat section, which I'm pretty sure is right outside the bridge. So yeah, and now we're right outside the bridge. So, you know, now we have this little combat section right outside where Gordon is. And so what I do is I throw a smoke pellet to, I guess, distract everyone so I can enter in. But I kind of forgot that I don't have the, like, shockwave. So, yeah, I couldn't knock the people over. But I just decided to go for the armored guy first just because I knew he'd be kind of annoying. So I went for him also to get my combo built up. That way I could actually get the, um, like, I could do a multi-ground takedown. So next I just knock all these guys down and then, you know, finish them off with multi-ground takedown. And I can head to Gordon, except nothing happens for a little bit that's important to the challenge. So... And now we're in the, um, next predator section, which... I honestly didn't think about, like, these three guys, and I just went for it. But I forgot that that guy on the left, or on the right, has, um, the, uh, thermal goggles, and I got shot, so I had to restart. Though our next attempt actually does go a lot better, because now that I know that the guy on the right has, um, thermal goggles, I decide to still throw down my smoke pellet, except I glide kick him. But then my game was being a little weird, and so I was trying to, like, I had tried doing a, um, silent takedown, but then it showed it as if I wanted, as if it wanted me to do a ground takedown, so then I tried doing that, but then it did a silent takedown, it was just really weird, and so I didn't have time to take them all out, plus I don't have the, um, smoke pellet upgrades, 
so I had to run away, but I got the chance to at least disrupt the um jammer so I could see everyone. And, you know, then I decided that I was going to string up um that guy right there. So, you know, that would at least take one guy out. And then I decided that I would string up that dude, except I missed it. And, um, I strung him up there. But honestly, I'm going to just let y'all see the rest of this. I did try stringing up the jammer dude, but it didn't work, so, yeah. Jammer's working again, let's get him! With that done, now I can go ahead and skip to the next Predator section, because this interrogation has nothing to do with the challenge, nor do the bombs. So the next combat section is right through this wall, and normally you would just punch through, but I wanted a badass entrance, so I tried jumping and punching, but that didn't work, and so I just kind of was sad. But, you know, I went for it again. Got it and just knocked the first guy out, or I hit him with a batarang, except apparently it didn't do anything. Which I kind of panicked, because I thought I was going to get shot, but, you know, it didn't happen. So, then I just built up a combo, multi-ground takedown, and backlaw slam for the win. And normally I could just skip, but there is technically one single section that I can get hit, and it's talking to Brandon. But we show him who the f*** is boss. I heard, but I still got a score to settle with you. I'm giving you the rest of the night off. So next up, not too long after, is um this little section where normally you're supposed to take those two, like you grapple up and take those two guys out. But instead what I decided to do was take care of that guy on the left first. So I hit him with the prop I hit him with the propane tank, then grappled up to do the double edge takedown, and then I waited for that second guy to go over so I could hit him with the propane tank that's right on like that's on the right. I was going to like um do a silent takedown, but it didn't work. And so I just immediately just hit him with the propane tank because I had accidentally thrown something while trying to aim. But, you know, that's the room cleared, hostages saved, and I can just skip to the next combat section. Well, actually, there's this little tiny kind of predator section right here, except I finish it off with a silent takedown and then just um, stringing these two guys up with the remote claw. So, you know, it's... It's not bad. I just then grapple over here so I can get him on the second gargoyle. So, yeah. But then I can head in and then, you know, combat section ensues. Except I go into the grates, which I'm pretty sure is what every single person who plays this section does. You know, I go into the grates and then I find the first armored guy. Or the armored guy that I can actually get to. And then, you know, I take him out. So, But that starts the combat section. And now we can... Now we can absolutely just dog on these guys because, you know, that's that's what Batman's built to do. But yeah, honestly, like I said earlier, the multi-ground takedown, literally super overpowered. Like, especially for speedrunning, because when I speedran Arkham City a few times, that was... Also, yeah, that guy got launched, and I'm not sure why or how, but... Yeah, he got, like, and that happens a lot of times in this game, where if you use the multi-ground takedown in, like, just the right way, it, like, launches everyone up into the air, or just, like, very far away. But yeah, that's the combat section dealt with, and moving on. I don't know why I snapped, but yeah, we're moving on now. And moving on, we definitely make the second jump first try. Yeah, first try. 
But luckily we were able to grapple back up and, you know, then we made it definitely first try. Like, definitely not second try. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You're, you're, you're talking crazy. And the next predator section is in the same room as before. And I was going to hit this guy right in front of me with a um propane tank, but decided not to. Because what my plan was was to take him out silently, and then after I grapple up, I connect the two with a um with the remote claw, and I launch them off the edge. So I strap him to him, and they both go flying and taking them both out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then um, the guy right at the edge over there, like on the top ledge, I just pull him off with the bat claw. And the second guy says he knows where I am, but doesn't try coming up. And I like I was gonna just knock him off with batarangs, but again, he said like he just didn't come up there. And so what I planned to do was use the propane tank from earlier on him, but it hit something else and didn't knock him out. So I had to quickly glide down and just beat the crap out of him. In fact, in game, I was like, oh crap, oh crap. I mean, I didn't think I was gonna get hit, but. You know, I thought I was, like, I, I was just nervous. But that's all that dealt with, and skipping to next combat section now. And here we are at the next combat section, which would have gone really well if I just wasn't such a dumbass. Because basically, you know, I take care of these few guys really easily. Like, I, you know, knock them all down and then hit them all with the uh, multi-ground takedown. To the point where I had to wait for everyone else to come down. But then just, like, this guy on my right, I just didn't, like, counter him at all. Like, I saw him there, I just didn't counter. And I don't know why. And honestly, showing y'all... Like, I'm not gonna just not show it just because it's embarrassing. No, I... If I get hit, it goes in the video. I mean, so do all the other combat sections, but... Yeah, so I had to get back up there and restart the combat section. But I mean, it's not that that it's not that it's hard. I just really am just stupid. So, yeah, I take it out. I take them all out, you know, really easily this time. I just knock a bunch of people out, take them out with the multi-ground takedown. If you just saw another guy just got launched, so rip him, but I mean, again, it's re like with the multi ground takedown, it is just way too easy. It's like a cheese, honestly. It just. Yeah. But yeah, I had to really, like, I had to quickly react to that guy with the knife because I hadn't even seen him until, like, the last second. But now we get to fight Firefly, so. Skipping to the start of his fight. And here we are, the beginning of the Firefly fight. And I'm not sure if I actually did say it, but whenever I was talking about how the concussion detonator was going to be useful for Copperhead, I believe I also said a, that a, there was another fight that it was going to be useful for. And that is the Firefly fight. Because basically, if you can hit Firefly with a, like, at any point, if you can hit him with the concussion detonator, it will instantly, like, I guess, kind of, um, like, stun him like that. It does that instantly as soon as it blows up. And so you can get the free, um, bat claw grab slash takedown thing. I don't know what you want to call it. But yeah, um, it's very useful in this fight and the Copperhead fight. And honestly, I hear a lot of people, like, talk crap about the concussion detonator. Like, that it's the, use the most useless, um, gadget in the series. And while it's not the best, honestly, I don't know what they're talking about because I use it a lot and it's actually really useful. But yeah, if you saw right there, it instantly, you know, like stunned him. I don't know why I decided to throw the glue grenade at him. But yeah, there's also quite a few times where it misses. Now, I know he can dodge it, but there will be times where he is stand. Yeah, like right there. He was standing still. And it missed, and I don't know why, but honestly, it was fine because I still got him either way, so, you know, I can punch him right in his stupid Firefly face, because, you know, that's what I'm here to do. 
But this also starts up the next little section. And it doesn't start off the best because, um, you know, there's like the little section where you have to run and then dive. Honestly, I'll just skip to it real quickly so I can explain. And this is the section I was talking about. You know, he rolls and then he like jumps off and dives into this little alcove underneath. And you wouldn't think that this section would be anything to talk about. Except where you have to grapple, I grapple up and take damage from the fire. That small little patch of fire. I was so pissed off, but it was also kind of funny. But, so, um, and it obviously it restarts me right at where, um, you know, the little cutscene starts. I don't know why Batman was all the way over on the right. But yeah, basically, you know, I dive down again, except now I know that if I try grappling up normally, I'm going to get burnt by that tiny little thing of fire right in front of me. Not on the side, like on that wall, but just on the ground. And so I ran, fell off the edge, I almost, but, you know, then it was all good. But then I almost did get burnt alive by Firefly. And so right here I had to run, but then I realized that he was going to go across, so I just figured not risk it, to not risk it. I run over, you know, jump on the, on the very, like, the car that's about to fall. And one thing that confuses me is he gets here and then just stops. And I don't know why, because that allows Firefly to catch up and almost burn you to, you know, a crisp. But, you know, being Batman, we, we just slide right underneath and we're good. Except then I miss my, like, first thing... Like, my first concussion detonator. The second one hits the wall, and I can't hit him. And then I kind of panic, and I take damage, and I have to restart. Because I wasn't expecting all of my concussion detonator throws to miss. So, I wasn't prepared for his second attack, or, like, his, um, one attack. But now, um, I'm ready but then the thing is not blowing up, like the concussion detonator, and I was screaming so loud because I thought I was about to get hit, but, you know, finally it blew up, so, you know, I was able to get the hit off. But I was still terrified right there. Like, I was like, why is it not blowing up? Why is it not blowing up? Why is it not blowing up? But, you know, we, we get it, and finally... I just throw a few batarangs at him, you know, dodges attack, barely. I thought I was going to get hit right there because of that car, but he must have stopped his attack right before, and I managed to get the um, concussion detonator throw. So, you know, I can pull him in and punch him in his stupid pyromaniac face. But, I mean, you know, it's whatever. And then, you know, he goes up again. And I just immediately get another concussion detonator throw off. So I was really happy about that. Like, literally, as soon as that little thing started, I was able to get it because he didn't dodge. But then something weird kind of happens. So, you know, I pull him in. I get the hit off. And then I just, like, throw a few batarangs at him. And then it instantly... Gets another one for some reason. I don't know how, but... Yeah, like, that concussion detonator that I also threw along with it, that didn't even do it, like, because it hadn't blown up yet. So, I don't know what happened, but honestly, I was like, eh, I'll take it. So, that gets this whole section going where then I'm gonna have to grapple up onto Firefly and, you know, dodge... Well, I have to first dodge all the little bombs that he throws out, which is not hard at all. But I was kind of thinking that some of the bombs he was going to throw on that, like, on the right section were going to start up the whole thing. But I forgot that he has to, you know, throw them all at once. But, you know, I was pretty, you know, I I was fine. So, I mean, I didn't take damage. And I grapple up onto Firefly and we start this little section. <laughs>
hobby. And so that's Firefly beaten, and I guess now we can technically head to Alfred, you know, to go make sure that he's okay. I am in your house. Bruce, Dane, come home. Say your goodbyes. Once you've had time to turn grief into anger, then you'll be ready to face me. I have left enough life in him for some final words. If you hurry, Alfred! Come on, damn it! All units, all units, go to bed. Repeat, Code 10 confirmed at Black Gate Prison. Suspect identified as the Joker. We're going to be all right. I know I haven't always been supportive of what you do, but I understand now. Go. They need you out there. I can't defend Gotham. I can't even defend my own home. Master Bruce. Now is not the time for doubt. I can't do it. I can't stop them. No, you can't. Not on your own, but it's high time you realize that you are a man, not an island. And a man's strength comes not from just brawn and intelligence, but also from his allies. The one alert. The Joker has escaped from his cell and is leading the riots at Blackgate. Repeat, the Joker has taken over the entire prison. Multiple casualties, multiple hostages. Again, we have lost Blackgate. Captain Gordon is calling on anyone, anyone for assistance. They need you. No, they need us. Honestly, I really just wanted to show that whole thing just because I love that scene so much. And I have heard people talk crap about 
you know, like, them trying to kill off Alfred because, oh, we already know that Alfred's alive because he's in the future games, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I really don't care about that. Like, I know, like, obviously, yeah, you know he's gonna survive. But that doesn't make the scene any less awesome. Because, you know, it's still really, like, impactful, and it's just overall a damn good scene. So, yeah, if you're one of those people who talks crap on that scene just because, you know, you know that Alfred's gonna survive, I don't like you. But, you know what, we take down these thugs outside the prison, and we can move on, so. Um, yeah, next combat encounter i guess actually i want to talk about one single thing right here real quick i spent way too long throwing glue in here like into the water because i was trying to get my raft and at first i thought it was because oh it's like rising up so i can't get a raft but even after it finished rising you can see me still throwing it but then i decided to just go a little bit more up and then it works i thought my game was being glitchy but no honestly i'm just brain dead idiot so yeah but now on to the actual next combat section it's just these like four guys but i take two out literally instantly and then after that it's not that hard i mean it's four guys and two of them went down instantly but i'm not actually gonna skip because um you know i it's not that long until that pr the um predator section in the one area i don't know what it's called i was gonna call it the panopticon but that's the area where you fight bane so yeah i have no idea what this place is called i probably should know but whatever anyway starting this like predator section off what i always do is i wait and then i take this guy out first and then grapple up so, you know, that was pretty easy. And then I grapple over a little bit, and then I take out the, um, sniper with a, um, with the remote claw. And then I come over here, and that lone guy, I take him out with a silent takedown, because, well, I mean, he was all alone. So, you know, that's, that's, that's just what you don't want to do when you're up against Batman, is be by yourself. I mean, even if you're in a group, I mean, he's still gonna kick your ass, so, whatever. But yeah, I just take out this guy with um, the remote claw. I grapple over, and I kind of like examine everyone and just decide to take this last guy out with my last remote claw shot. And then I go over to do a reverse ledge silent takedown. My guy, I don't know why Batman like dropped off of the thing, like off the railing. And then I don't know how that guy that climbed up didn't see me. But then, it's so stupid, I went to go for him. I got right up next to him, and when, as soon as it said, press Y for a takedown, I did, and it didn't work, and I was so pissed off, because I had to restart. But, you know what? It's fine. I mean, it's not, like, the end of the world or anything. It was just, like, a little bit of a, it was just a little bit of a bug, but it still kind of ticked me off. But basically, the beginning part just goes the same. You know, I take out this guy, string up the sniper onto the gargoyle. And then this time, I did try and go for the silent takedown, except he wasn't alone and was right by the window. And so I dropped down to go for the takedown, and I had gotten notice already. So I, you know, did a knockout smash. Had to knock that dude down with, um, you know, the batarangs. You smoke couldn't grapple through this area, and I tried breaking the glass, but that didn't work. And there was guys with um, goggles. So I was terrified, but they somehow did not see me. They had shot at me, but they didn't see me. And they were like, oh, yeah, it's just some smoke. You know, we're, we're fine. And so I string up that guy who has goggles because I don't want to get spotted because I don't think I have the, um, the upgrade for it and then I string up a second dude and then after like he, it didn't show that he was unconscious for a little bit but once it did I just glide kick to ground take down this dude and I tried jumping and it showed as if I did but it didn't actually go over the ledge and I thought I was gonna get shot but I didn't 
So then, you know, I go absolutely big brain. I don't see the guy underneath the w walkway, or like on my right, but I disrupt these guys' guns, and then I just glide kick the first one, and then, you know, ground take down him. And I know that second guy can't shoot at me, but he was also stunned. But the I, you know, I hadn't known that that guy was there, so I had to quickly, you know, batarang him, ground take down, and then another ground take down. But then this little section was kind of weird because I was trying to untie Harley, or sorry, Harleen, but it wasn't working. Like, I don't, it had showed up for a split second and then it went away and it didn't work. But I got it and now we can just skip to the next combat section. And the next combat section isn't actually a hard one. It's got, I think, maybe six guys. I can't really tell from watching the footage. But, yeah, it's not too bad, so I just knock down as many guys as I can, which, you know, they keep getting back up, so it's kind of hard. But I just do two um, multi-ground takedowns and, you know, get it pretty pretty quickly. And then, you know, I head over, talk to Slade, but that doesn't matter. I'll just skip to the combat section. And so here we are, except it doesn't end well, and it's actually kind of dumb. So basically... You know, I do multi ground takedown, you know, I'm just I'm just fighting for my life. And basically I tried attacking that dude, like the guy with the fire extinguisher. But if you saw, my character just kinda stood there, like not wanting to do anything. And basically what I'm confused about is why he didn't like attack him cuz i that whole time i'd been spamming x but he kind of stood there for like a second which you know then allowed the guy with the fire extinguisher to throw it at me so you know it was kind of stupid but you know i wasn't whatever but then there i i saw the guy like i saw that martial artist i knew he was there and i was trying to evade over him like i was holding you know, like, left on my left stick, and then I was spamming A, but it wasn't working, so, yeah, I got hit, but the second one actually goes a lot better, and by better, I mean, you know, I just beat it, but, you know, whatever, but, yeah, I was trying to be really careful, and also just get as many, like, multi-ground takedowns as I could, which, the first, I think, like, three only gave me two knockouts using the multi-ground takedown, which, you know, it sucked, but I mean, it's not anything, like, terrible, so, yeah. But then Requeese gets released. You know, that big black man, he gets released. And so I'm terrified that he's gonna charge at me and, you know, like, make me take damage and have to restart. And so I just have to evade right past him. And I was trying to throw um, a batarang at just someone to knock them down, but I hit the, um... I hit that, uh, the fire extinguisher, and then I decided to use my, um, shot gloves and just take down the brew easily, because if I didn't use that, then it would have just taken me, like, five years to kill him, or knock him out, sorry, sorry, he, Batman don't kill, but after that, and that really good, um, multi-ground takedown, it's a breeze, I just finish it off. And so with that, you know, then I can head to the next one, but I'll just skip there instead. This one actually kind of ticked me off. This guy, that, like, that whole time when he was swinging, I was trying to do a blade dodge takedown, but instead Batman just stood there like a dumbass and did not move at all. And so the second time, I knew he was there and immediately went over to punch him, and it didn't work. It only tried punching, like, after my third button input which was way too late and so at that point i was like all right screw it so i just like threw batarangs at him and you know carried on but then i got grabbed and luckily managed to escape which honestly i was like damn that was awesome and then you know multi-ground takedown you know and then i just keep on trying to fight them and the guys always just try and go for the guns, which was kind of annoying. So I just decided to take out the Venom users and then 
after that, just combo take or like combo move whatever to dis disarm the other one. Multi ground takedown and just you know then. But then, of all the things to hit me, I get hit by a crate, and I was like, oh my. After, especially after that, like, epic escape, like, that last second escape from the brew, I get hit by a crate, and I was so upset. But, you know, it was nothing. Hold on. <coughs> sorry, I'm dying, actually, you know. Give me clout. Feel sorry for me. No. But, yeah, you know, um... We just continue on, basically, kind of trying to do the same thing, except I almost got hit by the, um, Venom user, so, yeah, it kind of, it was kind of annoying, barely dodged the brew, because I hadn't known he was charging at me, so, and I risk it, I just go ahead and stick with the, um, Venom user, and I disable both of them practically instantly. And then I decided it's a good time to go for the brew, just because, you know. But as soon as I enabled my shot gloves, I was basically already done. So, you know, I kind of wasted them, but also I kind of didn't. Just multi-ground takedown, take these two out, and ground takedown. And I'm good, and I can finally move on to Bane. And I'm just honestly going to skip this cutscene. Except I was kind of annoyed, because... So, you know, I was trying to, you know, beat Bane, obviously. I'm, you know, I'm, like, running for my life, basically, you know. And he does the jump, and I forgot that this um, fight was a little bit different from the one in the um, Royal Hotel. So as soon as I do my um, takedown, or, like, combo takedown, I tried going for another stun, except immediately got hit. And can you guess where it put me? Just take a wild guess. It put me before the cutscene. And the whole cutscene. I could not skip it. The entire cutscene. I had to sit through again. I'm gonna skip it for y'all. Cause you know I'm not gonna torture y'all like how the game tortured me. But still I was still pissed off. So, you know, now we have to, now that I know that it's not, like, the Royal Hotel fight, so, yeah, I get hit again, and at this point, I was so mad, not because I got hit, but because I was gonna have to watch the entire cutscene all over again, except I didn't have to, I was so, A, confused, and B, happy. I was so happy that it did not make me watch the cutscene all over again. And so, you know, now I can actually continue the fight and not have to sit through that, like, two to three minute cutscene. I'm not sure how long it is. I'm not going to check. But yeah. So yeah, now, you know, it's just the simple old, um, you know, I'm like just going for Bane, you know, like trying to, you know, I'm just beating him up. And I almost got hit right there, actually. And then all of a sudden, you know, all the people come down. And I'm actually kind of trying to lead Bane into them. And then I kind of build up a little bit of a combo. Because what I was planning on doing was using the multi-ground takedown. But I forgot how fast they all get up. And then... And then, you know, obviously there's a cutscene, but I'm gonna skip it because, you know, I don't I don't need to show it to you. You probably if you've if you're watching this video, you've probably seen it or at least seen gameplay on it. I don't care. I'm just gonna skip it. And here we are, the second phase. Now, I want to point something out. Okay, so I'm gonna pause it. If you look up in the top right corner, you will see that I have some health lost. All I am saying is, and I better not see anyone, like, I mean, I don't normally get comments on my videos, but if I do get any comments, it better not be pointing out that I lo technically lost health. Because there's nothing I can do about that. Because if you saw from the little footage that I just showed for the second phase, I did not get hit. The, like, whole back, like, whenever, um, 
Bane almost breaks your back, except, you know, he doesn't. He just does the move, but he didn't break your back. That is what took the damage away. I did not get hit. And in fact, there will be a little bit of proof in just a minute. That's all I'm saying. Just don't point it out, because I'm showing it to you right now. But yeah, so anyway, you know, we just continue on with the fight. <clears throat> you know, nothing, nothing special. And I get a decent little um, combo takedown right there. But, you know, it wasn't. It wasn't the best. I mean, I had to do it twice. But I did get all of them down. And so, you know, I just... You know, I'm doing that. And then, you know, I'm trying to run away from Bane, but I do get hit. See, there I was hit. And in fact, you know, I'm going to wait for the... um. I'm going to wait for the game to load. And, okay, so I'm going to skip this cutscene... And now you see, right up at the top left, I have not gotten hit, and I'm still at full health. Or, well, I still have that little tiny bit of health lost. See, like, that just proves that it's meant to happen. Now, I froze the video, and if you see this frame, you know damn well what's about to happen, and you're about to hear the most satisfying noise you have ever heard in an Arkham game. Wasn't that just super satisfying? What? You want me to play it again? Alright, but... That is just one of the best places in any of the art. I'm I'm, like, I'm being totally honest. I love that scene. You know, it's fine with, like, a few people, but... When it's literally all of those thugs, because that Bane knocked down, it is just... God damn. But yeah, so now now going off of that, um you know, now we just decide to um you know, now I just decide to finish the f the boss fight. And I get I do another multi-ground takedown, but it was literally just to get rid of that one guy cuz I don't know why, but I had a gut feeling that if I didn't do that, he was going to be the one to hit me. But I mean, now with all of the enemies gone, this fight, the rest of this fight is a cakewalk. I mean, you know, Bane's just running at me, but I'm just easily dodging him. And then I just have to wait for him to, um, like, do his little jump. And, I mean, as long as I evade that and don't get wrecked by the Bane train, I mean, I'm perfectly fine. So, yeah, that's the fight finished. Except for one more phase. TN1 Bane is one one of the, like, single most... I don't know what I was going to say. He is one of the most terrifying bosses in the Arkham games. Now, don't get me wrong. He's not scarier than, you know, Killer Croc, and he's not as smart as Mr. Freeze. But this boss is still terrifying. Like, right here, I couldn't get the, um, the silent takedown, so I got grabbed. 
like I had to run and then I didn't evade because I was trying to throw glue at him. But yeah, you know, he's he got me, so whatever. I'll just skip this cutscene. Honestly, I really don't know why he plays all the cutscenes, like, again. Like, the second time you restart, or the time you restart, whatever. But yeah, so like I was saying, Bane isn't, like, TN1 Bane isn't, like, as terrifying as, um, you know, Killer Croc, or as smart as Mr. Freeze. But in the right circumstances, it is still damn well terrifying, and I actually love it. And then right here, I was trying to get the sign takedown, and it hadn't shown it for a second, but once it did, I was able to get it. But honestly, like, you know, it's still quite terrifying, and I hid in here again. And I was gonna do another takedown, but then I was like, oh wait, that is not a good place, because, you know, he just got taken out from one of the greats, so I knew he was gonna search it again. Which, you know, I was clearly right, he did. And so, you know, I sneak up on him. And I would have liked to have gotten the um electrify electrified um gate takedown, but I couldn't. And so, you know, I had to run away again, which, you know, was very terrifying. But you know, it's it's not like it's whatever. Now, it's going to be a little hard to see, but I actually do take damage right here, because the cut is not the best. And it's right here, I had just taken damage, because he grabbed me, and so I had to restart. But, it's fine. So, yeah, honestly, that's two fails, but don't worry, I, I beat it this next one. But yeah, honestly, I love this boss fight. Just because, like, now, it's kind of, it's different from a Mr. Freeze boss fight, because he doesn't adapt as well. I mean, okay, he'll destroy floor grates, and then he'll take out the vents. But that's literally all he does. You can still get floor grate and vent takedowns. Unlike Mr. Freeze, if you use the takedown even once... Unless very special circumstances, actually, which this is actually something I learned from a video. Unless special, like, circumstances, y you can actually reuse those takedowns in the Mr. Freeze boss fight. But you have to immediately distract him before he can. Um, yeah, I would have to... I, I might put the link to the video with that in the description if you want to see it. But yeah, um, basically, he was doing a no-takedowns run of Arkham City. And I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce the name of this YouTuber. I can't remember. It's spelled like K-N-R-E-D or K-N-N-R-E-D. You may have heard of him. You might be subscribed. He has like 13,000 subs. But yeah, he did a no-takedown, like no-takedowns run on Arkham City. And actually managed to beat um, Mr. Freeze on New Game Plus without doing like anything that has the word takedown in it. Again, on New Game Plus, which again like is very like it's it's a really cool achievement. I I'm not gonna lie. Probably, probably something I'll never do, just because I'm not as good at the game as he would be. But um. Yeah, I'll I'll put a link to that video in the description. It's really interesting and you know, you can go subscribe to him. You know, it's he's it's he's just a really good you he's a better Arkham YouTuber than I am, I'll be honest. I mean it's not anything like it's not anything that's surprising. I mean he's just better, but yeah, um if you wanna actually watch that video, like I said, it, the link will be in the description. Go check him out. Yeah. But right here, I literally got caught lacking because I was waiting for him around that corner. But then he came from behind me. And yeah, if I hadn't, I mean, I kind of stood there just to add the dramatic effect. But, you know, it was funny. And I tried getting the electrified takedown, but instead he pushed him to the left. So... Yeah, but honestly, it still did the... I still got it. 
And I guess that's Bane defeated. Except it's not, because then he immediately grabs me. And basically should have killed me right here, considering he throws me right at the wall. Which... <coughs> excuse me. And then he punches me, like, in the gut. So I don't know how Batman survived. I guess... It, well, I mean, I guess Arkham Batman is just absolutely built different. Meanwhile, I'm over here being built stupid. But, you know, we just use a remote claw, and then... And now with Bane taken care of, now we can finally head on out and take out the Joker and finally end this, like, challenge. Honestly, it wasn't too bad, except for, like, you know, la especially last episode where, you know, I got hit in those two combat sections, like, so many times. Except I actually want to show y'all a little glitch. So there's this little vent. And sometimes, you can just walk through it. Like, as you see in the footage right now, you just walk straight through it. It's like, I don't know why. Like, it, it, it will sometimes do that, or it won't do that. And I basically test it out every time I play this game. Like, I want to see if, it's, if it does the glitch, where, you know, you can just walk straight through the f you know, gate, or vent, sorry, but it did it this time, so I guess that made a little funny clip, and, you know, then we team up with Gordon to help out, um, Warden Joseph, you know, I mean, I mean me, you know, we helped me out, because that, that's me, but whatever. I always thought it was kind of funny how me and, you know, Warden Joseph literally have the same name. I don't know, it's kind of funny, but honestly, it's, you know, this combat section is not hard at all. Oh yeah, Gordon punched me right there. It didn't do damage to me, luckily, but still, I find that funny how he just straight up punched as me. But yeah, now we head towards the chapel, and we can finally deal with the Joker. All the pain he's caused us. Is about to come to an end. <laughs> oh, 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 that's <laughs> it's just it's so <laughs> what a night! <laughs> Fresh off the kill and back for more, eh? Bane's still alive. Now that's not funny. Oh, this, oh, this rage, all directed at me, and for what? You know, if you'd actually let me finish a sentence, you might learn something! You might learn that we're not so different. You might learn something about yourself! You need to learn to shut up. You know, it's sad, really. Makes me feel like you don't care to see the good side in me. Well, I guess learning is a lot to ask from you, meat for brains. <laughs> is all this for you or for me? You must know that I'm a lost cause. Oh, but there's still hope for you. <laughs> yes. Oh, I've got great. Get it through your thick scalp! Oh, we both exist because of them! Give up! You've lost!
until it isn't it. You like the way it feels. It's what you need! <laughs> <laughs> Baby, beat me till your knuckles bleed. Why quit there? <laughs> you know there's only one way to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Any one of my guys would have killed him. The city deserves better than that. You know, my daughter thinks you're a hero. But I still have to bring you in. Gordon, come in. What's your 20? I'm in the chapel. We got the Joker. Son of a bitch. You caught him. Then how did you do that? I had some help. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. I don't know. They put me in charge of a station full of rotten cops. And I can't change them any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least that's what I used to think. <laughs> Stop his heart. That is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Maybe. Maybe I can give them something to believe in. Maybe he can give them something to believe in. And with that, it's over. We finally beat Batman Arkham Origins without taking any damage. Well, I mean... In a way, I mean, you know, we'd get hit, but obviously, we'd get... you've watched these videos, okay? You understand. But that's not actually the end of Origins. If you remember back in the Arkham City series, I beat Arkham City, but then I also beat Harley Quinn's Revenge. Now, if you can guess where I'm going with this, yes, I'm going to be doing Cold Cold Heart, no damage. Because, I mean, I'm not going to do one DLC and then not do the other, but whatever. So anyway, that will do it for this video. If you enjoyed, maybe subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video, which will be Cold Cold Heart probably tomorrow. Anyway, have a great day, and goodbye.